Gomez. The cross comes in towards Landon Donovan. Was he pushed in the penalty area? Yes, he was. It's a penalty kick. Now, will Landon Donovan take it for goal number 50? He's on 49 international goals, Landon Donovan. Here he is with the right foot. He dinks it in, and it's goal number 50 in international soccer for Landon Donovan. Uh, I just wanted to be calm and, and put it down the middle, let the goalie hopefully guess one way, and he did. But the reaction from all the guys really meant a lot to me because I could see in their faces that they were happy for me, and I got a lot of uh, welcome backs and uh, a lot of excitement. So um, when you feel part of something like that, you're going to do everything you can to repay that, and I look forward to doing that in the next few weeks. Tall guys in there. You've got a Gucci. Donovan here. Slides it into the penalty area. Here's an opportunity, and it's goal number three, and it's a big one. Chris Wondolowski has his first international goal. Uh, well, uh, Landon made a great run, uh, just penetrating run, had Stuart hold in, and uh, played a good ball into him, but the defender made a good little poke, and uh, luckily it fell right to me, and was able to take a touch and finish it. Like, it's just a great feeling, huge honor. Anytime you get to represent your country, and then uh, to have a goal on top of that, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. Holden, still Stuart Holden. Here he comes to Landon Donovan! Number 51 for Landon Donovan. And it's turning into a rout at Qualcomm Stadium. The United States lead Guatemala by four goals to nil. It was kind of a one-two with Wando and myself, and I think it bounced off my knee in the end, and, and uh, Ale tipped it around the corner. And, you know, I just, uh, Landon always finds great spots, and, you know, I, I just instinctively just whipped it around Through. the corner. And, and knew that, have advanced you know, far forward. There and uh, great finish by him. It's, it's and gotten into these spots, and, and that's a great ball. In. Well, Stewart played a great half. I thought he was really good. Um, he played a one-two, I think, with Wando, and I thought Stewie might take a few touches before crossing it, but I was sitting sort of on the shoulder of the last defender, and he hit a great cross in front. And from there, uh, you just try to make sure that you keep the ball down and hit the net because it's hard to miss from there. But the credit goes to those two on that goal. Anytime you're trying to probe forward, you're just looking for gaps, you know. And, and his players came to close me down. I tried to, you know, one-two around them, and you know, uh, guys were in great positions to to give those angles and for guys that were running through and you know I think that we were really dynamic in, in our play in the second half and then the same on that play and it just kind of opens them up and uh, once again you know when you have guys in the box like Landon and Herc that uh, you know proven finishers you just want to get them the ball so you know that's uh, my job as a midfielder. When you're playing with players of this quality um, you can stay high you can stay along the line and just let them make plays and you know, I haven't played with Stewart in a long time, so you never know if they're going to make that play. But now I know I should be in that position every time because he's capable of hitting it. And it was a perfect cross, a perfect ball. And uh, there's not a lot of players that can make a play like that. Donovan on the score sheet as well. Away goes Brett Shea. Is this number six? Shea across it goes. Here's an opportunity that back, back post. The drive comes in, and it is number six. And it's Bedoya on the score sheet as well. They are thrilling the crowd here in San Diego tonight. I think it was just the long ball. B is kind of trapped it, and I saw Stu checking, and I saw the space open up, and so B's kind of laid it to Stu, and Stu just saw me kind of hinting at the run, and uh, he played me in. And uh, to be honest, I just put a cross in, and luckily it was like a changeup ball, so no one saw it coming, and but it was back door to just uh, smash it home. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting because, of course, it's my first goal for the national team. And every time you score, you want to celebrate. But at that point, it was, you know, like the sixth goal, 6-0. Six so you really didn't try to celebrate that much. For me, it was just more of like a relief of finally getting that first goal with the national team. You know, like uh, you always dreamed of something like that as a kid. So to finally be able to do that, it's, it's a great feeling.